Hi, Sue Wilson. I've got an industrial chic snowflake card to share with you today, and it's a really clean and simple design. I think this is lovely. We'll show you what we'll be using. The dies for today we have uh, from the industrial chic collection. We have the Let It Snow. It's got cute little cogs with it. And this is the snowflake, which is designed with cogs coming out of the side and in the center. We're also going to be doing a bit of embossing with the falling snow embossing folder. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to pop those to the side. I think I'll start with the embossing. So I've got a piece of coconut white card, and I'll give you a quick measurement on this. It is so four and seven eighths by five and a half inches. So I'm just going to pop that inside of our falling snow folder. Doesn't matter where, you can turn it or whatever because it's a very random pattern. And the sandwich is the raspberry adapter plate. Okay. So you can see, you've got, got some lovely texture from that. Just looks great. It's hard to see on the white, but I think you can pick that up. But what we want to do is bring in a little bit of our glitter kiss to use on the top. This is called Frosty Sparkle, and it's basically a white with a really soft iridescence to it. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit off the edge of the container, just a tiny bit, and I'm going to lightly rub that over the top and just hit that snow um, peaks coming out. It's really lovely. Oh, look at that. So soft and subtle. I love the way that looks. Just a tiny bit more in this corner, I think. There we go. So it's just enough to give you, oops, a little bit of iridescence to that background. I think that's so pretty. So I'm going to come back to that in a second. So I'm just going to set it off to the side. But what I want to do is just go ahead and put this into place. And I will use uh, some double-sided tape for that. So. Pop it around all four sides here. And I've gone ahead and done some piercing and matting and layering here for my background. I've brought in some silver mirror card because we're going to be using that as well. And that's perfect. Leave that for the moment. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some more of the uh, glitter kiss because I need to give this a second to dry. So I'm going to go back to my frosted sparkle here and I'm just going to go straight to this uh, snowflake. Just add that. So you have a lovely sort of iridescence coming from it. There we go. Really, really nice. And I'm going to do this little centerpiece as well. And oops, there we go. That is pretty. So I'm going to give these a second to dry. It doesn't take very long. We'll come back to those in a minute. Pop that back on. And I'll tell you the other thing. When you're using your glitter kiss, a, a really good habit to get into is just to give it a light spritz before you put the lid on. It's a water-based product, and that keeps it from drying out. And I'm just going to tidy up a little bit that I've got on my craft mat here. Okay, so now I want to cut one of the Let It Snow out of some Silver Mirror cards. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. We'll pop that down with just a little bit of tape to hold it in place. Go back to our die cutting machine, get our cutting plate out, and the top plate, and give it a quick cut. That should do the trick. Let's just check. Oh, yes. And we will undo this. Take our tape off. And carefully pop that out. That back on our magnetic sheet. And we just need to poke the little fall away pieces out. Just take a second. And a couple more here on our cog. There, I think we've got that. 
Now what I want to do is give it a little bit of spray glue and I'm going to add it on top of one I've already done to make a little bit more dimension. So find my tweezers. There we go. Oh, I see one more piece I missed here. Let me get that one right there and right, actually two pieces. There we go. And line that up. Just get the edge started. Pop that down into place. Line that up. That's looking very good. So I'm going to bring my um, background back over and let's go ahead and use a bit of glue for this next step since we have our embossing there. It's not a flat surface so we want to bring in some Cosmic Shimmer glue. Just get it really nice and coated here. Okay, I'll put that right down into this corner. Give that a second to set up. Okay, we're going to come back to our snowflake now. It should be good and dry. And I've done another one in silver. We're going to use the silver as the shadow this time. So I'm going to spray the back of this one with some glue. And just offset it ever so slightly. That really picks up the iridescence from that glitter kiss too. It's beautiful. And make sure that's sticking really well. Get all those little pieces down. And we've got a base piece here that I've gone with some silver underneath. So you'll see that show through. Do a little glue on the back of it. Line that up directly behind it so it will show right through the um, design. There we go. I've got some mounting foam on the back of that. I'm going to pop that down. I think I'll use a little bit of cosmic glue on that as well so that it sticks onto the glitter. Give that a second to set up and some mounting foam in the middle of the back of our snowflake. And there we go, a little bit more glue on that as well. And we are going to seat this right up in the corner. Be quite regal up there. There we go. And there you have it, a really, really beautiful, clean and simple industrial chic Christmas card for you. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget our YouTube channel has a lot of videos on there for you to watch. If you like and subscribe to the video, we'll send you emails when new ones are posted.